Money 2.0 presents In the Now, the premier show for entrepreneurs, business owners, and business leaders. With marketing experts, Brandon Heinz and Mike Driggers. Get ready to unleash and launch because they're going to blow your mind. Now, here are Brandon Heinz and Mike Driggers on Money 105.5. Money 105.5. Good morning. Good How evening. Good afternoon. Depending on when you're listening to this broadcast. Hello to all of you out there on the social network. That goes <laughs> out to you guys. I mean, right now, if you're listening to this show, and there's just one day where you miss us, just go to our Facebook feed. We're archiving this stuff. Facebook Live, YouTube, the channel, everything's going perfect. And I want to thank all of you out there right now for supporting us through all our social media growth. It's been amazing, the interaction. Those of you who have already taken advantage of the free Design It tickets, we had 10 people last week register within the first 20 minutes of giving away 10 free tickets, and we're going to do it again today. So awesome. thank you, guys. Social media has been huge for this show. I love it. Yeah, it's, everybody's engaging and, and getting on the show and uh, getting a lot of great feedback, and everybody just loves the topics and the speakers that we have coming through. So it's been an amazing ride. And some it. of you guys, we, we've been researching some of you out there. I mean, there's some of you guys right now that are great influences here in the Sacramento market. So our admin is going to be reaching out to you and see if you're interested in coming on as an influencer with our show. So definitely dig into the comments and let us know if you're a business owner here in town and you really have something you'd like to share with our audience, with your peers, your colleagues, your, your guests, your customers out here in the market, reach out to us. Let us know. We're always filling the slot. We're booking the show two years out right now. So jump in, get involved. Those of you on Facebook Live, you could chime right in right now. I know I pulled five people out of the group last week and handed their names over to my admin and said, get in touch with these people. Yeah, there's some really good folks. And like I said, more are coming. The more are coming. More are coming. So if great. you build it, they will come. Hey, and they are in droves. I and that. I want to support, you know, one, Money 105.5. They've done a great job. Our producer, Sean, over there in the studio, he's doing a great job. He's helping us out all the time, always making sure we're prepared. Uh, Ed Black over here doing our media posts and getting all of our videos up. It's just been great. It's great to have a good team. It's great to be around good people. The station has been open-armed since day one. And more importantly, Lisa, for seeking us out and saying, you know, bring your show over here. Let's do it. Why do a podcast? Why try to just do a video YouTube channel? Let's do it all. And she was right. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that, uh, uh, you know, the professionalism in this, you know, from some of the other folks that we've worked with, and this group is just incredible. Um, and like you said, it, when you have the perfect team, it creates the uh, perfect environment for what, what we're trying to do and get our message out and help thousands and thousands of people with our knowledge and wisdom. So thanks, 105.5 Money. Thank you, everyone. Yes. The Money 105.5. So today we're talking about sales. Ooh, the sales, sales word. Yes, that, that is a uh, common word that uh, some people fear, you know, and it's a funny thing is that there was a, a study done by, I believe it was Harvard that did the study, and they said that um, if you were to stop sales for one day, just one day, it would, everywhere, it would take six months for us to get back on the economic track by just stopping one day. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? I mean, you don't think about how powerful it is, but we sell every day of our life. And it, and it's not just in products or services. We sell ourselves to our relationships, um, you know, a job interview. I mean, you're, you, you know, just being able to communicate. And I think the biggest thing is understanding the WIIFM, yep. right, is how you communicate to somebody's internal radio station, what's in it for me. Yeah. And I, I'm a firm believer in that if you know your craft, if you know what you're doing, you know it inside and out, then sales goes away. You're actually just a real person, right? You're having a real conversation with a solution that could solve your customer's problem. So in every single situation, you've got leads, you've got sales, and you've got fulfillment. All of us in business have the fulfillment piece, right? The coaches, the, the yogurt shop, the cookie place, the pizza place, entrepreneurs online. We have the fulfillment already in place when we launch. What we need to, what we need to fine tune is how the leads are coming in and then how we're converting them in the sales process. And our guest today is a master in this. 
And we've been mastering it our whole lives, just getting more fine-tuned each time we go. Yeah, I think one of the, the keys is when you start to establish yourself as the authority in your market, the sales become a lot easier. We we do, talked about this, I believe, a couple of shows ago, but even like this past weekend, we had uh, an event uh, where we shared that. And it's just, you know, as you start to establish yourself as an authority, that sell cycle reduces. It also starts to, um, you start being able to eliminate a lot of the objections. Yeah, and you build a lot of trust in the market. Yeah. So whether I'm walking into that local gas station where I see the same worker every day and we have conversations, he doesn't sell me on anything. I, he builds trust in his store and I shop there and I know the products are good and I'm getting gas there and I buy my water there and I start building relationships. Sales happens in all different fashions, but really the targeted salesman knows how they're going to do things. Yeah, and especially if you know how to answer uh, a lot of the objections ahead of time. You know, yeah. it's one thing that, like in the martial arts, we teach that folks that, uh, you know, if you look at society, 99% of the people are right-handed. And so in the very first shot that they're going to give, is the glory shot to the head. So you're already prepared. And as a salesman, it's the same philosophy. When you can handle and and answer the objections without them asking, it helps eliminate, you know, a lot of that pushback. And and it really objections are just, hey, I need more I need more uh, answers to questions that I have. Yeah. I'm a firm believer in being curious. The more curious you are with your customers and the more information you find out ahead of time, the easier it is to have that fulfillment for them. It's like getting a recipe for spaghetti. You know, you're asking all these questions so that you know what part of your service can actually provide that for them. And as, you know, as a business coach, I have to know a lot of things going in. So I have to have my dashboard prepared. So I'm very curious all the time. I'm asking all these questions so that I have all the information I need so I don't have to keep going back and asking questions more. And that gets my sales process moving. So now it takes that want into a need. So they may want help in some avenue, but once I've gone through all the questions, they realize what they need, and that's making it better for everyone. So coming up after our break is Eric Laughlin. He's a uh, an amazing sales trainer. I've gotten to know Eric over the years, and he, you know he's done several uh, books. He's got out, and you know it's going to be focused around you know sales training. And his new book that he has, uh, the Twenty One Ways. Uh, basically the 21 ways to make more sales now even if you don't like to sell so when we come back from break commercial break here on 105 money 105.5 fm with mike triggers and brandon heights and in the now They say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Or how about the one that says, mindset is everything. I truly believe both these statements. If you're looking to grow in your life or your business, then something's got to change. Stop the limiting beliefs that are holding you back. Hi, I'm Brandon Heinz, and I've helped thousands of my clients do just that. Stop being controlled by limiting beliefs and patterns that don't suit you anymore. Join me at AskBrandonForFree.com. That's AskBrandonForFree.com. Now back to In the Now with Brandon Heights and Mike Driggers on Money 105.5's Money 2.0. Welcome back, Money 105.5 listeners. Good morning again. Man, what a beautiful morning. Love the, the traffic. So as we went to break, we were talking about uh, an amazing gentleman, a good friend, Eric Laughlin, that uh, he's a, a professional sales trainer and he's written seven, about 17 different books, but his most recent book is 21 Ways to Make More Sales Now, Even If You Don't Like to Sell. And I love that because there's a lot of people that don't love to sell. And so we want to bring him to to our audience and welcome. And let me just give you a little bit about his background. One, uh, he's, he's a master sales trainer, has taught his proven sales systems to 
thousands of professionals around the world f over the past 19 years. He's the president and CEO of Eric Laughlin International, an organization he founded to professionally train people on the art and science of selling. He knows how to motivate individuals and generously share master skills and sales with others that allow for immediate implementation, thus improving sales process, which delivery directly uh, directly benefits and sells uh for that person so let's welcome to the call eric laughlin eric are you there i'm here well welcome to the call we're excited to have you and we've been chatting about sales this morning the importance of sales and you know um before we get started why don't you share with the folks like how how do you get into being a becoming a sales trainer yeah, I actually started off as a sales failure. My first <laughs> sales job, I was the bottom producer and uh, had missed a quota, and they wrote me up for not being successful at sales. And so I was about to get fired from my job, and I met my first mentor, uh, Donald Moyne, and he's a brilliant, brilliant sales trainer. He taught me his system, and I ended up uh, applying what I learned, and within 60 days, I became the top producer at that company. And one of my gifts is teaching. So once I had his methodology with my natural gifting of teaching, it ended up just making sense to go into professional sales training. And so I had a couple other things that happened in my career. And then 19 years ago, I branched off and started my current company. And that's what I've been doing ever since. Well, that's awesome. Always seek out and finding mentors. It speeds up the process, right? Yes. And what, what I like right there, though, the big point for me is you applied what you learned. <laughs> Which a lot of folks, they tend to not do that. You know, they learn they just something. just camp on the on knowledge and hold yeah. it. They're like, ah, I learned that. So, you know, many business professionals resist selling. What are some tips that you may have to overcome this resistance? Because I know a lot of people, they, they frown to the word selling, which I, I love. Yeah. Well, they, they frown on it because, I mean, let's face it. There is a stigma to sales in our culture. Yeah. And so... They're just responding to the stigma, and there's traditional salespeople like maybe a realtor, insurance, somebody who sells cars, but then there's people who are you know, business owners, and they need sales skills, but they're not a traditional salesperson. And so it's, sometimes it's hard for them from a mindset standpoint to um, embrace, oh, I need to put on my sales hat. And so what I do is I teach people to recognize where does the negative mindset come from? It comes from, from my viewpoint, the stigma in our culture. And how do we overcome it? We change the way that we think about sales. And so you look at sales. I teach selling equals service, sell from honesty, integrity, and compassion. Selling is about leading. Selling is about moving people to action. And when people have a successful paradigm shift in sales, the resistance disappears and they're able to put on their sales hat when they need it and embrace sales. And, and that makes a huge difference in their outlook and their results. So do you find that once people change their mindset that they, they start to see the success right away then? It's absolutely a piece of it. You know, if you think about any mindset that you have, if you have a resistance to investing, you have a resistance, I don't have time to improve my health. You know, you can look a lot at the results people are manifesting at what they're thinking is. And so once we change that, it like pivots their life and, and everything changes and they're more likely to embrace proven sales training ideas. And so, you know, that's an, an absolute catalyst to make a change for somebody. Yeah. I, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, repeat that uh, question because a lot of people don't realize that it sits in their own domain, their own mind is the resistance. And, and once they break that barrier, um, amazing things start to happen. But a lot of times it comes down to you. You are the person that's holding you back. It's like your book, Mike. Nothing starts till you do. That's right. <laughs> Nothing in life starts until you start, right? So, uh, but yeah. So uh, once that they, they get into the, the cells, they get it, they've, they've breaking through this resistance. You know, um, what do you think the, the next resistance that some of these folks face? Well, the, the next piece, is, it's not so much resistance, but it's just more of just getting professionally trained. Um, what a lot of people do is they go into the presentation and they intentionally wing it because they don't want to sound quote unquote salesy. Right. And 
that is that's a mistake. Okay, if you're going to raise a million dollars, you're going to go meet with an investor and, and ask them for a million bucks. You darn well better be prepared. If you want to go and secure business with somebody, you need to go in prepared. And so it's shifting the thinking and going, no, I don't want to go in and wing it. No, I want to go in prepared. And so once somebody embraces preparation, then it's looking at all the different things that you can do to make your presentation more persuasive and increase the likelihood that the other person says yes. And there's dozens of things you can do to immediately improve the persuasiveness of your presentation and increase the yeses that you're getting. Yeah. What would be some of those tips that you could give as far as improving their presentation? One of the most important things is sequence. Sequence is the order that the presentation goes in. So before you go into a meeting, you want to think, all right, what are the key points I want to cover in the order that I want to cover them in? That will give you confidence. It will give you clarity. Um, Another thing, determine the questions you're going to ask to truly identify the needs of your prospect. Um, Another thing you can do is figure out the success stories that you're going to tell. Uh, My mentor taught me over 20 years ago, Eric, before you meet with a prospect, predetermine the success stories you're going to tell in the order that you're going to tell them in. So all of these things have to do with preparation, no different than an athlete working on their game, visualizing their game, practicing basketball, dribbling, shooting free throws. Well, there's preparation we can do in business that predictably make you better. Anybody can get better at sales when you apply these techniques. Especially if you know your audience, right? I mean, if you if you really hone in on who your perfect avatar is, you pretty much know a lot of them. You may not know their personal style or, or what's going on in their business, but that's where you start asking those the questions or open open the questions for in the presentation. Yeah, if you're selling to seniors, you can anticipate they're going to be concerned about running out of money at retirement or they're going to be concerned about security of their funds. And so it's not that we become psychic. It's just there are certain patterns of what's important to people. So whatever you're selling, you get to know your your avatar, you get to know your audience, and you can absolutely craft your presentation, even if you've never met them before, and really connect with them. Well, and I think that's the key word right there, connect. Yeah. Right. Because you have to in, in anything people buy based on like, trust and knowledge. Do they like you? Do they trust you and knowledge? And in your presentation, um, I'm assuming that uh, Eric and that you you teach this is that you really create that connection with your your audience. Absolutely. And a big way to do it is to listen. And it's, it's kind of a paradox because in sales, it's like, well, it's all about the gift of gab or knowing what to say. And a lot of sales is just listening. You know, why are you considering a change right now? If you were selling a product that required a change, is there anything happening in your life right now that's motivating you to, to want to make a shift? What's most important to you about blank? And you just really listen and you hear what it is that they have to say. And that's going to make a huge difference in how you craft the presentation. And the connection is going to go way up when people feel heard, they feel listened to it bonds them to you. It builds rapport. It makes them connect with you. Yes, you're absolutely right, Eric. And that's kind of what I was saying before we brought you on is that I, I become a higher closing ratio by listening and being curious because they feel help. They feel hurt. They heard. They know that you're listening to them. They know that you can help them. And then, you, like you said, you tell your success stories that are already planned out because that's seeding in there that, yes, I've done this before and I, I know exactly what you're saying to me right now. I've heard every word you've said. And here's my success stories that support that I could be the one to fulfill that for you. Yeah. How, um, how important is it to, to put in your presentation you know, testimonials of others in the success? In your opinion. Well, if, if you have them, it's, it's a game changer because what happens from a persuasion standpoint, when you're telling stories, in some cases, you're talking to the unconscious mind of your prospect and you're bringing these benefits that you helped. You know, if I help Bob Jones and I'm telling the story about Bob and here's the problems Bob was having before he chose to work with me. And this is what Bob, the program that Bob did with me. And here's the results that Bob was able to get. And then here's how it's helped him in his life. And so they start hearing that. And there's this connection of, well, maybe I have that same problem that Bob did. And maybe Eric can help me in a similar way. And they're thinking, well, what was the program that that Bob bought from Eric? Well, that's the program that I want. All that's happening on an unconscious level. And so 
it's um, a wonderful technique. If, you, if you've been in business for a while and you do have some success stories, you really want to craft those in your presentation. I teach, you know, get seven success stories. Tell the same stories over and over and over again. <clears throat> I was doing a presentation yesterday to a group of network marketers, and I told the story of another network marketer that I helped, and now she's one of the top people in her whole company, and my close ratio is fantastic, and in part it was because of the story that I shared. Yeah, that's. I've always believed, and it's amazing that a lot of presentations don't have those in there, the testimonials and and things of that nature, that, that stories that, that people can relate to. And especially if it's something that they're looking at, right. They're buying that product and you have examples of people that are similar to them, their yeah, profession. Eric, you nailed it because the story registers with people. So their subconscious mind is hearing that story and they remember it. Like think about how many conferences you've been where you, this person taught something but then they told you a supporting story on how that worked for one of their clients, and you remember the story. Even though the lesson was great and you learned it, you remember the story and you think inside your subconscious mind, this person will work with me. That's why Yelp is so, uh, so famous right now is because right. people are reading these other customers like, oh, if they had that experience, I might have that experience too. Yeah. So, you know, with social media today, um, what are some tips on how to use social media to make more sales? I know that there's some lead generation, and we'll go into this, and we're about to go to commercial break here in a minute, but let, just you know, one tip to start before we go to break. Wh what would that be? Well, one tip is your prospects on social media. And the whole thing behind social media, the reason why a lot of people post stuff is they want likes and comments. So you can build rapport with your prospect before the presentation even starts by liking and commenting. That's one tip. And another one is you can direct them to book appointments. So I do a lot of appointment setting by sending direct messages to people over social media. So you, you go through and you look for your ideal candidate or um, avatar to, to talk to, and then you like and uh, comment in their posts or whatever, and then you direct message. Is that correct? Exactly. Yep. So, um, and you know, what, what platforms do you use? Is it Facebook, LinkedIn? Where do you find your best successes? Um, I do most of it on Facebook just because that's the one I enjoy the most. But I have an active presence on LinkedIn. Um, I'm on Instagram. Uh, I'm on YouTube. I'm on Twitter. Uh, but my personal favorite is Facebook just because I enjoy it the most. Yeah, me too. I, and I know that, you know, there's uh, different audiences for different social platforms, you know, Snapchat. Yeah, once you know your perfect avatar of who that client is that you bond with the best, the match that makes you work better, that's the platform you're on. So for all business owners, it's a little different. Some people really thrive in LinkedIn, but they also should be taking advantage of Facebook as well. Yeah. So um, what are some other, other tips that could help our audience as far as, you know, um, in social media marketing? Um, here's a simple tip. So if you reach out to connect with somebody on LinkedIn, why not look them up on Facebook and connect with them on Facebook? Yep. Um, there's the principle of familiarity. And when people become more familiar with us, they're more likely to book appointments with us, they're more likely to buy from us. So if I'm connecting with somebody on LinkedIn and then I add them as a connection on Facebook and they accept that request, it's just a little bit stronger of a connection. And I'd also think in terms of social media integration. So if I get an opt-in on my email list, I might send them an email and say, hey, let's connect on Facebook. A couple sure, days later. You. Absolutely. Let's get a little bit more of that with Eric Laughlin when we come back on Money 105.5. Have you ever heard the statement, mindset is everything? I believe this statement to be true. If you're ready to grow in your business or you're trying to change things in your life, mindset is key. I'm Brandon Heinz, and I've helped thousands of my clients set their mindset in the right direction to allow them to achieve their goals and to make changes in their lives. You can have what you want. Let's stop the limiting beliefs that are holding you back with my help. Go to AskBrandonForFree.com. That's AskBrandonForFree.com. Com. This is Lonnie Chen of the Hoover Institution for townhall.com. 
Tax reform legislation signed into law by President Trump in December, which will lower taxes for most Americans this year, unfortunately did nothing to stop billions of dollars in new taxes under Obamacare from hitting millions of Americans in the wallet. One example is Obamacare's health insurance tax, which is being paid for directly by consumers in the form of higher premiums. So millions of us will take a direct hit, even though most people who will be paying for the tax increase don't even realize it. Over the next 10 years, individual market beneficiaries may pay over $2,000 more in premiums. Families getting their coverage through small employers may pay over $6,000 more. And Medicare Advantage members may pay over $3,000 more. Although Republicans did not create Obamacare, they are in a golden position to end this tax and help bring down premiums. A failure to do so may hurt congressional Republicans when they come before the voters in this November's midterm elections. And that's a risk they shouldn't take. I'm Lon Hee Chen. Being accused of a crime is not to be taken lightly. Being accused of a crime is a big deal. It doesn't matter if you're innocent or if you're guilty. There's just too much at stake for you and your loved ones. Hi, I'm Mike Chastain of the Chastain Law Office, and I've been practicing criminal defense for over 32 years, and I know what I'm talking about. My advice is don't take any chances. Before you do anything else, call me for a free consultation. We will discuss what happened and review your options. You need to know your choices so you can feel confident making the right decision. I take your concerns and your life seriously, and I want you to have the best possible outcome. Don't waste any time. Call me today for a free consultation. Call 916-932-7150. That's 932-7150. Or visit us at ChastainLaw.com. That's ChastainLaw.com for your free consultation. Let the Chastain Law come in back. the way forward. Now back to In the Now with Brandon Heights and Mike Driggers on Money 105.5's Money 2.0. Money 105.5, thank you for today. This has been a great show. Yeah. In the Now, we got a great uh, uh, author and speaker and trainer, Eric Laughlin, on sales. And just before we went to break, I caught something about how Eric, once he engages on Facebook, and he gets him, or actually, if he engages them through another source and they get into the database, that he's, he's say, hey, hey, let's make a connection on Facebook. And I thought that was pretty powerful because then that goes into building relationships and your building database. Building your tribe. Building your tribe. So business owners and entrepreneurs out there, we have Eric Laughlin on the phone right now. And I, I would have to say growing up in the Sacramento area, I've heard your name over and over again from all the salespeople I've trained that have been through your programs, friends that have taken your programs. You've definitely become the authority in your market. And this book that you just put out, 21 Ways to Make More Sales Now, Even If You Don't Like to Sell. Amazing. So a little bit more about what you're doing right now. So this, this time for you on the radio right now is for us to let our audience know how they could work with you and things that you're promoting here in the area. Yeah, you know, my, my newest thing, it's a, it's a social media integration play. And as I've been watching you know, people out there that are doing great things with uh, their businesses, I'm seeing a pattern where – it's not just one social media platform. They've got multiple platforms working synergistically together. And so I created this website, sales tips for smart people.com. And it's all free content. And the concept is there's a Facebook group. There's a LinkedIn group. There's a YouTube show. There's a podcast and there's a daily call. So it's, it's five different ways to connect, but it's all under one brand. And so what happens is, Somebody goes to the website, they go, oh, let me check out the YouTube show. Oh, here's the Facebook group. Oh, I'm into LinkedIn. And so it's giving people multiple ways to connect with me. And I'm putting out free content on that channel, on this website, every single day. And the, the big idea for all of you listening, one, I, you know, I'd love for you to connect with me there if it resonates with you. But the bigger takeaway for all of you is for you to think about how do you get your LinkedIn connecting with your Facebook, connecting with your Instagram, connecting with your, your email list, and all of these things integrating together, it's, it's a really, really powerful way of thinking and a, a powerful business strategy. Yeah, I, I love that concept, and I think the key element to that is that you're putting out value, 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 and then you, as the relationship builds, you then go into, let, let me sell you something, maybe upsell, downsell, and then you deliver 
but then you're you're adding more value on the back end, which is a formula that I follow and Brandon. And I think what folks need to hear out there is is that if you've got all these components of the puzzle with the social media working that you're you're giving content and people will start feeling you know doug vermeer's quote uh, when they feel your vibe they become part of your tribe yep. and um and that's what you're saying is that you're you're providing content through your social media every day educating giving some type of value and then your customers are showing up at your doorstep is that correct exactly and it's very referable so somebody who's having a great experience, and I might say, hey, if you're ha- getting great value, you know, please let your friends know about it, your coworkers. So it's, it's very referable. And here's the thing that's happening now. 15 years ago, very few people had an online presence. You know, if, you, if you owned a business, you kind of had to have a website, but just a regular person didn't need an online presence. Well, now my 12-year-old daughter has an online presence because of Instagram. Sure. So what that means is, when somebody's considering doing business with you, they're going to stalk you online. They're going to go look at what you've got online because everybody's online. And so if we, if we are strong with our online presence, and if you're playing the content game, so there's this uh, life insurance uh, company and the business owner shot all these YouTube videos. And I'm like, man, I want to do business with that guy because Look at how strong he looks online. I've never even met him before. He just looks like a million bucks. And so I think it's important for all of us to think about how do we look online and what can we do to increase the way we're perceived when people land on our different online presences. Well, I think so. Let's give our audience some tips on how to like what kind of content or what do they do to have that online presence? Like what are some of the things that you may do? Well, you've got to post with a purpose. And people don't understand publishing, okay? 15 years ago, if you were going to get published, you had to go like, to get on a radio show like this. I have to be approved by you guys. Well, to you know, get, in, get in the newspaper, you'd have to be approved. Well, now anybody can publish. We can all just create our own radio show, our own TV show called YouTube, or we can publish on, on social media. And so there's, there's a responsibility with publishing. <laughs> people have never been trained in this stuff. So what does that all mean? When yeah. you're sick – don't post on Facebook that you're sick. I don't want to read that. Right. I don't want to do business with you if you're telling me how sick you are. Right. And so, you, you know, don't vent about your, your spouse or significant other. What should you do? You tell a story on your social media. So my story is a story of success. It's a story of family. It's a story of that I'm a sales trainer. I, I share about my client's successes. I share positive things. I share things about my life. So you get, it's your social media. So you tell the story. So post with a purpose. What is the story strategically that you want to tell and craft the story to convey that message? I do tons of business from social media because people get to connect with me in that way and anybody can do it. Yeah, I love, uh, I love the platform. Typically what I do is I have a 10 to 1. I'll do 10 posts of something related to my industry. So I'm giving value to the tribe. I'll do two posts of something around my business that I'm involved with, whether it's a success story or a story. And then one may be an offer of a free book or an ebook or things of that nature. So I'm constantly, you know, first thinking that I want to provide value, value, value. I'm constantly wanting to add value. And I've seen you do this, Eric, several times. Yeah, I'm in, I'm in total agreement. And, and another thing is to have some frequency of posting. Because if I come to your page and I want to like several of your posts, and I come to your page and I want to like a few of your posts, but there's no new posts, I got, I got nothing to like. So yeah. think about the frequency at which you're posting. And it's, it's all personal preference. You know, I use social media as a driver for my business. And not everybody, that's their intention. We all have different reasons for how we use it. But if you want to increase your business, do consider frequency. I usually post anywhere from one to three times per day, and um, I think it is, is a valuable thing to consider. Well, I think, especially in today's world, you know, like you said, the, the platform for publishing is, is a, there's a lot more opportunity. I mean, you can have your own TV studio, literally, through live stream. Like, we're live streaming this radio station right now. Hey, everybody out there. <laughs> everybody on Facebook. Yeah, so on Facebook, you know, we have people that are joining in, and, you know, and you're publishing constantly but a lot of folks don't realize that the power that they have in their hand today 
and the cost to do it is nothing. Yeah. You know, and, and I think you're right on the money is that folks need to, and especially businesses. Now, I understand people have their personal pages, and uh, but if you're doing business, you need to have that business page. You need to provide content that's of value to your audience, your avatar. And, and by doing so, you're building the relationship. So what are some other things? Like, let's say you get them uh, through that process and you get them into your database or, and you're reconnecting, are you always driving them back to a Facebook post? Are you, you know, what are, what are some things you're doing to help build that value? Well, from a business standpoint, you, re- you really ought to think through um, your product line, your price points. How are you going to develop a client? Um, so you can have the monetization strategy that's going to get you the, the financial goals that you want. So our whole thing is it's, it's really about driving people to our email list. And then from there, we want to deliver sales presentations. And those are typically done either on a webinar or they're done in a one-on-one telemarketing call. So it would be like Facebook or LinkedIn to get a person to opt in to get them to go to a webinar where we're selling something or get them to request a consultation with one of our phone reps. And our monetization is done through telemarketing or through the webinar. That's awesome. And then obviously the presentation, as you mentioned before, it's in sync. It, it, you know, you've, you've done your homework on, on the presentation, who you're presenting to and, and you've created a flow, which is. Yeah. You, you can mentioned. dissect down your entire process. You can dissect down your social media strategy. You can dissect down how the leads are going to come in. What are the email autoresponder messages? What's the phone message? What's the sales presentation? What's the clothes? You know, and that if you have the discipline, and you're willing to put forth the effort, you can really skyrocket your business. And then if you accelerate it with a concept like uh, Facebook ads, which some people are very effective at, I'm just learning Facebook ads right now, but all of a sudden you can have all this lead flow come in and you know exactly how you're going to guide them. And it's all predictable. It's, it's not some random thing. Business is a learned skill and we all have the ability to learn these things and get better at it. You get better at it, you're more successful, you know, and you can make your dreams happen. Outstanding. Yeah, you're, you're, you're nailing it every single point. I know why you're an authority in this piece. And for our listeners out there, you know, we learned this stuff too. Like he just said, he's learning Facebook ads better now. He's getting better at it. And he's going to de- drive even more business. So he's using that social media as a driver to bring people into his funnel, into his business funnel, so that he can actually take it. So those of you that want to connect with Eric, it's salestipsforsmartpeople.com where you can join his Facebook group, his LinkedIn, check out his YouTube. He's got a daily call. Where else can they connect with you at? Or is that the main place you want to drive them, Eric? Yeah, my main website um, is saleschampion.com. And um, I'm right in the middle of teaching a class, like in-depth. It's a four-session four class right now. It's a virtual class. And if any of you, you're like, oh, these are really cool concepts. We've got a free class that we're doing. You can find all the information on that on my personal Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Eric Offo, my name. So you can find me there. I'm really easy to find online. And uh, I've been doing this for 19 years. So I've got a, a lot of experience. And I just love sharing these concepts to help people. And a lot of times I'm just sharing what I'm doing. So it's like, hey, here's how I'm creating my sales scripts or my closes or generating leads. Or here's how I'm doing Facebook. Hey, what do you think about modeling something like this in your own business? And and that's really where I get a lot, a lot of my enjoyment from a training standpoint. Thank you, Eric. I love the fact that you're sharing with everybody and giving all that free content out. So those listeners out there, make sure you look up Eric at saleschampion.com or salestipsforsmartpeople.com and join one of his groups. Absorb this man's knowledge. He is an expert in his field. Yeah, and Eric, thank you for being on the show with us today on In the Now, on Money 105.5. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule. I know you're traveling and speaking everywhere, but I want to just thank you. Uh, one last shout out to the audience before uh, you go. Yeah, I just want to acknowledge all of you for listening in. It shows that you're the type of person that wants to get better. Get 1% better every day. Keep working on your skills. You'll get better and better and better, more and more successful. And, uh, you know, continue listening to the show. Awesome. Thank you so much, Eric. Thanks for your time. All right, guys. Talk to you later. We'll see you when we get back from break. They say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Or how about the one that says, mindset is everything. I truly believe both these statements. If you're looking to grow in your life or your business, then something's got to change. Stop the limiting beliefs that are holding you back. Hi, I'm Brandon Heinz, and I've helped thousands of my clients do just that. 
Stop being controlled by limiting beliefs and patterns that don't suit you anymore. Join me at AskBrandonForFree.com. That's AskBrandonForFree.com. The number one show Here we go. for entrepreneurs. This is In The Now, part of the Money 2.0 series on Money 105.5 and the Money 105.5 app. Welcome back. That was an amazing piece. Very, very intelligent man. Definitely authority in his market. Yeah, what do you think? What was the one key thing you got from from that? Well, for me, and this is, I mean, I feel like every show that we do, even when I see him hit the calendar, Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm dealing with that right now. So even yesterday, I spent an hour figuring out with my administration staff how to connect all the social media integration. Like, should it be posted on the company page, then transferred to my personal Facebook, then to my business Facebook? Which ones do I want to share where? And how is that sales funnel, right? So the integration that I that he's talking about, and that's one thing that I would seek him out for right off the bat, just knowing that he is currently championing that formula to sure. integrate them all. Because nobody wants to be out there posting on seven different medias all day long. They want to be able to have it integrated so that when they post on one, it's shared to the next one. And sometimes, you know, like we teach, delegate what you want off your plate. So do what you do best and delegate that piece out, whether it's going to like a third party source or the gig economy and having somebody do it for you. But that was my big piece is that really integrating it to where it funnels through all your social media challenges. Yeah, I think that the uh, one thing that, you know, like even for my personal self, I have my I have uh, two Facebook pages, one that's just dedicated to my family. So we're communicating what's going on, family things. But then I have mine that's to the audience. Right. And um, and that one I do for business and I'm constantly posting things. So places I go, people I'm meeting. Right. And then also education or th- events or things of that nature. So I'm always looking for that that formula to always put out there. And I think one of the things that for me, you know, he mentioned that it kind of throughout the process is automating and leading to sales funnels. And I think that's something that, you know, helps in the sales process is when you automate and create a sales funnel. In today's world, it used to be websites. It was important for business to have websites. But now there's a whole, not only just websites, but you really need to start having sales funnels in place. Someone that that takes them through getting a magnet to then creating a tripwire Right. The core offer. The core offer. Your profit optimizer. Exactly. Your big tickets for your business. I cannot tell you how many people come to us that don't have a basic sales funnel. Yeah. And when I say sales funnel, for those of you trying to understand what that is, that's the client flow through your business. What happens if somebody fills out an email? What if they call you? What is the what's the presentation that's given? How is it given? What does it lead to? So in design it, we literally will walk in there and I I I'd say ninety-five percent of them do not have a complete funnel. No. Nah. And that's what we work on in the workshop is like, hey guys, this funnel is gonna change everything for you. And sometimes you'll have multiple funnels for different products. But learning how to, like the magnet, so for Eric, he's giving away these videos and these Facebook groups, and he's providing value, and that's his free attraction to get you to be part of his tribe. For us, we give away the survey to success on our website, and someone downloads the survey, they watch the video, they try the survey out, it's all free information, and it builds a trust level up for us, and then they go to our first course online. Or they'll they'll even our uh, mini webinars that we do, which then even he said yeah. leads to a strategy call. Yeah. So you have to have your funnel down. That's one of the core things of design it, not just your why or how you're going to unique value proposition is going to be presented. How is the funnel going to work for your business? Yeah. You, you'll find that your, your ideal buyers, you know, is somebody goes through a funnel, they get something free and then the next is a tripwire and they, they're, they're pulling out a card to make a purchase. Psychologically, they're building that purchasing relationship with you. And that's part of the sell cycle is, is, is it converting? They've, they, your social media, you've built this trust. Now they go there, they convert, they get a free gift, whatever it is. Um, and then the next purchase then leads to multiple purchases, which we've, you know, in society, we've always known 
found that the best sell is to your existing customer base, right? Yeah. Reselling to them. And, and that's what sales funnels do is they build that, that reoccurring purchase and you can have all different levels of prices and, um, different things online, offline. A lot of people think that the sales funnel has to be just online. Yeah, it's not. It's even for me. When I, when I meet with someone and I know I have a funnel that's already laid out of how they work with me, I know right where to position them. Yeah. And this is one of the key pieces. So all of you guys that took advantage of the 10 free tickets last week, we've been hoarding these 20 tickets. So 10 of them are gone now. We got 10 more for free to the Design It course. In the Design It course, we're going to teach you how to build these funnels, how to position your unique value proposition, what your message is out to the audience, how you're going to drive these funnels to start working for your business. Because everyone that's been listening to this show, you know we're trying to give as much value as possible. In our courses, we're doing the same thing. We're not just teaching you, we're actually doing it with you. So this course is technically what I call a workshop, where we're in there rolling up our sleeves and working directly on your business so that you can design your business to gain your life. So those of you that are listening right now and you would like to take advantage of this free offer we have, go to designitcourse.com and with our radio promotion, Design It 105, get a free ticket. This is a $3,000 weekend we're giving away to our listeners for all the support you've given us just in this ramp-up period. January is our kickoff. This is where we planned it. So these last two guests have been our kickoff for our show. Even though we've had amazing guests during December and November when we launched it, yep. this is the kickoff. 2018, we're comfortable, we're in our groove, and we're going to support all the local business owners from here all the way to California. We have somebody coming in from Canada this year. Last uh, last course, we had someone from Australia. Yeah. So people are driving in for this course. This is a course you don't want to miss. Yeah, and it's on, for those that are wondering the dates it's february 9th 10th and 11th here in sacramento and if you go to designitcourse.com you'll be able to take advantage of these free tickets that we're offering and again the the code was the uh, promo code is design it 105 105 design it 105 so yeah you're getting a free ticket worth three thousand dollars in value and again in the course, we're helping you, we're holding your hand and walking you through and developing your sales funnels to your, your wow client and how to, how to find them and where and how to, how to take them through that funnel, how to get your social media systemized where you don't, you post once and it's uh, in multiple places. And again, call to actions, right? CTA, so call to action. So that's in this course, you're going to learn how to also become an authority in your your field quickly. A lot of folks don't know that with today's technology, they can instantly be in an authority. And that's why we have our instant authority now program. But uh, you'll learn some of those essential things and how to get your clients to say yes before you even talk to them. Yeah, the design it course was basically built because it's a passion of ours, right? <laughs> All of my companies, no matter what, if I even have a brand new idea, I walk through the same workbook I teach in and I do all the exercises to map out what this company is about. What is the vision? What is the mission? What is the values? But more importantly, if you look at some of the testimonials on designitcourse.com, you'll see people on there talking about how they've fallen in love with their business again, how the mundane has been broken apart. Their mindset is now shifted to make this fun again. We're really teaching core principles that are proven for little small companies all the way to Fortune 500s, how to design your business to gain your life. Stop just working in your business and start working on your business, allowing you to free up some time. Some of us haven't even planned a vacation for this year because we're working so hard and we're so stuck in this, this funnel. Yep. We need the business to work for us. Yeah. So and, design it's why that's why design it was built. Yeah, and th and just so you know, if you're an entrepreneur, small business, you're in the service industry, you're maybe you're big business and you work in the marketing department. Whatever it is, this course is to help you take your business to the next level, but create an, a lifestyle while doing it, right? To where you're working on your business, not inside your business, which most people, that's what they're forced to do. Is yeah, and it's, it's funny. People will come to the course and there'll be all types of walks of life and yeah. all types of businesses from attorneys to the yogurt shop owner to the entrepreneur to the, the MLM marketer. And all of them try to challenge us like, no, the funnel won't work for me. 
and we break it down live right in front of them and show them how they could change their life by small little steps. Yeah, we even have the fun game, Stump the Chump. Yeah, Stump the we Chump. Bring stump it the on. Chump. Bring it on. Try the to... whiteboard breaks out and the markers are out and we go for it. Yeah, we. Uh, there hasn't been a, a situation yet that we have not had an answer for when it comes to creating your sales funnel. And, and uh, again, in today's world, it's no longer about a website. It's about sales funnels. Yep. And, and especially in your marketing with social media, you've got to be very niche specific in each one of your campaigns. You can't do general marketing like you've done in the past. And they don't have to be robust. You start with one thing to win. You get the one funnel mastered of what your core offer is, and you let that thing flow while building the next one. Yep. But for our listeners, I mean, what we're trying to do for you here, and this is what we're doing for you, we're bringing you masters in their field to listen to what they're doing. Every one of you on this, this channel right now listening to us, all these Facebook users, all the ones that we're socially integrating with, you guys are successful now, but is it time to go to that next level? Sure. There's is it always. time to take action, to create some reaction, always. to make things grow? That's what we want for you. We want you to grow with us. We want to tell your stories. We're offering these free tickets to design. It's because your testimonials are going to help us share with more people, yep. which means we're going to be allowed to help more people. We got our producer and our rep in there taking pictures. Hi. Hi there. But today's <laughs> been a great show, you guys. Money 105 in the now has been a blessing this year. Yeah, and, and I'm excited. So if you if you haven't yet, go to designitcourse.com and register uh, with the Design It 105. Promo right? code. It, uh, and that will the waive promo. the fee for the ticket. Yeah. If you guys have any problems, shoot us an email. Reach out to us on social media. We would love to have you attend the event. Um, the event's going to be about 75 people here in Sacramento. It's going to be amazing. Yep. Money 105 in the now. With Mike Triggers and Brandon Heights and... Thank you for all the gold nuggets that we got in, uh, today. And it's Thank a you, Eric Laughlin, the yeah. great, great guest. Yeah, absolutely. We'll see you next week here on Money 105.5 uh, in the now with Mike Triggers, Brandon Heights. And again, thank you. We appreciate you. Bye for now.